Well, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good day, wherever you are in the world. This is Dr. Jacqueline King, and I am with the lovely Dr. Joyce Haddon. And how are you doing, Dr. Haddon? I'm so blessed. I don't know what to do next. You know, I love when you said <laughs> always make me feel good because you have these always you're always positive and that that is really nice you know that you're always have always have a positive attitude and that's good so um want to welcome everybody that's coming in and uh say that uh this is the day the lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it right uh, as you're coming in go ahead and tell us where you're tuning in from and uh, say hello to Dr. Joyce. And of course, you know, I'm Dr. King. We are having a good conversation tonight about investing in your dreams. Mm. And Dr. Joyce, I think there's really no better person to talk about that than you, because you have done so much to bring your dreams to fruition, right? I'm so thankful that uh, many things uh, that's in my heart, my dreams, you know, there's always a dream killing thief around trying to steal from you, trying to zap what you've been given. But I encourage people, listen, you've got to invest in your dream. And it's 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 a sad thing if you don't. You got to sacrifice. You might even have to sacrifice to, to get your dreams uh, manifested. So I'm we're going to that's what we're going to talk about. And we're going to encourage that because I want to see people come to the place that uh, God has assigned for them and uh, for it to be a major move. I'm excited about you. Yeah, and, and, and Dr. Joyce, I mean, you invested in your children and that's your dream too. It did, they didn't just become celebrities and stars because you hoped that they would. You had to send them to some classes or invest money and stuff as well, right? Oh, of course. Um, my children basically, Clarita went to school, of course. Um, Gerald and Dietrich and David were just, you know, in the house. Um, there's such a gift. There was such a gift in ministry, the anointing in ministry. I, they just followed. Um, it was always on our face. I See, I went to uh, a church that was old school and they didn't encourage college uh, you know you know i'm 74 in a few days so oh. yeah just a couple of more few days pass and so they didn't really encourage going to school and uh things like that so i experienced um you know, even my pastor taught kind of like against, he had books, but he didn't want us to read them all. And um, so we really sought the Lord. You had to seek him. You had to trust God and you just had to believe him uh, for your, your dreams. So, yeah, but I mean, I know it's not, not always about college, but mm -hmm. I mean, preparation, um, you know, maybe music lessons. I, I mean, it's not always <laughs> Uh, you know, going to college. College is, is, is good and fine, but you have to invest in other ways as, as far as money goes too, right? You're right. Uh, of course, anybody that was good or already gifted in our family in music, we put our children with them. Um, we made sure they were rehearsed. We would allow them to rehearse sometimes all night long. Basically, my children were studiers of music. They they studied the piano, uh, the drums. You had to hear drums sometimes 24 seven. And that, you know, of course he became a, a major drummer. Uh, that's Pastor David. Um, I mean, I, I can't make it up that we, I wouldn't want to make pretend as if maybe we sent them some all we're off to school because we didn't, mm -hmm. but we allowed them to be free to study their craft. And I think that people that uh, if you know, we ask, do you know, this is what you want to do? We did do that. Do you know if you want to, uh, if you want to handle the music in this church, well, then you're going to have to be consistent. You're going to have to be faithful in what you do. 
You're going to have to study the, the music, the lyrics. Uh, David actually, I remember going to Toledo with him for um, a program that they were doing for uh, Prince. And um, David didn't go to school for, uh, to, for to, to read drumming. But you know you have to read. You you have to be able to to know every note, and you have to be it's it's a, it's a craft. It's a and then you have to be able to read music to be able to and to do uh, Prince's music. You really did needed to know and to be able to read it because it's all it's nothing just regular. It's off to the another maybe another key, maybe another. And David learned how to read music as a drummer. I saw him direct the orchestra. He directed the orchestra for the whole Prince project. Yeah, but so it's still, I mean, it it you, it does take money, but it takes time. It's money. So you got to invest time. Okay. That's what I'm trying to get at. Okay. Um, a lot of You're there. <laughs> We're there. Money. And, and they buying went, material. We bought lots of stuff, lots of music, I mean, drums, instruments, drums and pianos, and all that stuff costs money. In you, fact, we bought had, we bought a piano right away, and said, "This is not a game. You say you're going to play. We put a piano in the in the um in the office, and said every day, you're to play. That was Dave. Uh, that was Gerald. And so." Uh, Every, everything that they we thought they needed to to make them who they are, we made it happen. And that that's and that's my point. My point is that um, it's not just going to happen because you and I talk about this all the time because you pray for it to happen. Mm -hmm. You you know uh, wish it to happen. You sitting on your couch <laughs> and no way you no know, wanting it to happen. It's not going to happen like that. It just isn't. Um, you know, even you, I mean, public speaking, um, you know, all over the world and all that, you had to invest in yourself to be the woman that you are. Someone said that you look amazing for your age. I think it was Arnethia. I can't remember. Somebody said, and you do. Um, but yeah, I'm, I mean, what I'm trying to point I'm trying to make is that um, it's not going Darnethia. Darnethia. Dornithia, thank you. I think that it was. I don't know which one said, but somebody said you look. Thank you, thank but you. But anyway, the point is, um, I'm trying to make like even with BWE, and you know, because you were with me just almost be from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I had to keep on investing and trying things that didn't work. You, uh, you've done it too. We've all tried things okay. that didn't work, and then you had to try something else. You had to mm -hmm. invest in this and that. That's where I'm getting at. Just because you tried one thing and it didn't work, you have mm -hmm. to invest in something else, right? Of course, you have to invest, devote, uh, devote time. You can't just say, "Well, I'm going to become. I'm. This is something I'm going to do," and never put time in it. Time is is one of the most valuable things you have, and you have to put time in in in, in your skill or in that that you you are looking for your dream. You have to put time in it and you can't be distracted uh, with everything around. You have to know who, who you are, what you have planned to be. And sometimes even we mentioned dream, dreaming is a great thing. And to be able to open your mouth and speak of your dream, that's investing in yourself too, to not allow the negative to come in your space. You have to work that not allowing uh, people that are negative, people that would talk um, talk it down. In fact, a visionarian is somebody that sees so far beyond where they are. I recognize that, that, um, that you're a visionarian. That's what we are. We, we visualize it. And then we, you have to be able to look past where you are so that you can get into your future. A, is a, a dreamer is a, it's a necessity to have vision, even about what you dream about. 
And and with you, so with your gift, and if anyone doesn't know, um, Dr. Haddon is also a prophetess. Yes. And she is on point. Mm. Uh, she prophesied over BWE years ago that we would be huge, and we are. Um, actually, Dr. Hatton, and you know, I told you, we just launched our business directory, which is a game changer. Um, going across the screen, you can put uh, go to blackwomenempower.org and join the business directory. What that's going to do to change, I mean, it's going to change the world. You wow. can get your business, your church, your whatever it is that you're doing in front of millions of people for, I say pennies. Because if you're going to pay for advertising, you're going to pay thousands. Dr. Joyce, you know, you're going to pay thousands and thousands mm. and thousands of dollars. It's That's investing. investing. That's investing, it's investing. It in is. yourself. Because a lot of times people, there's a waste of money in all kinds of things. But if you know what you dreamed, you've got to put invest in that. If you you want to be worldwide, you got to get in position. And so uh, this BWE is a wonderful place to, to get started or to push forward, to place your name there is to be exposed. You need exposure. You need to have um, something happening for yourself. You just can't stay home sitting on a couch and expect to, to uh, for, for somebody to know your name. <laughs> you know, that is correct. But I, you know, I, um, I want, for me, I say that there's enough at the top for all of us. Oh, wow. God has gifted us all with our own unique individual gifts. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about you taking my gift and you don't have to worry about me taking your gift because our gifts, even though they may be similar, mm -hmm. they're different. Right. They're we're not all even different. Gonna work the same way. Mm -hmm. so and if we were all the same, it would be so boring. It would. I hope that we'll talk about procrastination. Well, we 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 actually <laughs> did a, we did a segment on procrastination. So what are you gonna yeah. say about it? Because I yeah, we, we actually just, did one. This is so important to know that it, it is a holdup. It's a hindrance. It's a blockage. Uh, you're stuck, and uh, procrastination is that grave. You dig in it yourself. You must prioritize. And, and, and say that I've got to, I would like to encourage people to, to go with me mentally, maybe even close their eyes and go with me all the way um, to December the 31st. And that's get March, April, May, come on, June, July. What are you gonna do to get to where you're trying to go? Because time is of, is of the essence. You have to begin. And you said it last year that by this time this year, you would have done it. You said you would write the book. You said you were going to get in, take care of the business part. You said that you would save enough money to be able to do what you were going to do. But then when it was December 31st, 2023, you were still at zero. One of the, one of my gifts is to motivate, and my motivation might might be a little harsh, because I don't play with people. That I, if I can see it in you, I will decree it and declare it, and push you to your place. Come go with me. To to December thirty first. What are you going to do in March? What are you going? First of all, you 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 saying, well, I, 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 I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to uh, by this time uh, next month. Prioritize by saying, by March the fifth, this portion of my vision or my dream would have been done. Then, April thirty first. Listen to me very carefully. Don't play. With time, mm. you don't. Time is nothing to play with, and we have to change. If you've been cycling and waiting, saying you're going to do it, telling everybody but doing nothing, you must move. And I'm going to agree with you. 
that I'm going to do it too. <laughs> but I don't play. If I say I'm going to do a book, I find me some people. I go looking for them. And then I, I come up with a book. If I say I'm going to do a song, I'll go drive. I'll drive to Atlanta and get in the studio. If, I'm, if I say I'm doing pictures, I'm, I have to have pictures, I will get on a plane and go to, to Atlanta or wherever it is, the people that do this for me. You got to, you must prioritize or you will be in the same place. Come on. December the 31st, <laughs> the end of the year, you will be exactly where you are now. So in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, first of all, sign up. Let's Absolutely. Go. And you know what? Opportunity. One thing about opportunity, it doesn't keep coming around. Oh, no. It doesn't. You sometimes you're only going to get one chance at an opportunity. And if you miss it, it's gone. It's, um, and who have time to cycle? And come back around. I'm so serious about the 74 years old and for a few days, a couple of a week or so that I've decided I'm going to celebrate. Uh, I'm thankful to be alive. You know, the doctor said I died two times on a table a couple of years ago. It's been about a year and a half. So, but I've always, if something, what do you call people that if it, if it, my son is the same way. Uh, Dietrich is the same way. If you if you'll get a thought by this time tomorrow, it's according to what it is. That, I'm the same way, Doctor Joyce. My mother used to say, "If you think it, it's as good as done." That's what done she, used to say. she used to say that. I remember I told her I wanted to um, to get a car. It was a Pathfinder. Remember when the Pathfinders came out? They were really a cool car. Nissan, the SUV. Okay. Yeah. I said, I'm going to go look at uh, this car. And um, I went and looked at the car and I came home with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she I mean. Said, she said, she said, you didn't even think about it. You just went and did it and just, yeah, because I'm not a procrastinator. Right. I know what I want and I do what it takes to get it. Mm -hmm. Um let me tell you this directory. Go to blackwomenempowered.org and click on directory. You'll see it is amazing. Did you look at it, Dr. Joyce? I don't know if you had a chance to look at it. I have to. But it is amazing. And I had this, now honestly, I had this vision years ago, but I couldn't figure out how to put it together. And I, I sat on it. And recently, God brought it back to my members. And I mm. started doing research on it and i came up with a platform and then the platform was so complicated i'm a web designer but i couldn't do it it was too complicated wow i had to hire somebody because i still am investing in myself i had to pay for the platform i right. had to hire somebody to build a platform right. but guess what it's done and it's going to bless thousands Wow. of people it is it really is uh the new jersey black chamber of commerce they're in there i'm talking about wow. big people i ain't talking about any, oh it's goodness. for anybody but it's a blessing because anybody can go there and connect with you you can put up videos you can blog uh it's for everybody doctors lawyers whatever and we have our own safe place wow and 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 age is not a problem. We want to make sure you know that. Somebody said, well, uh, I've been wanting to do it and now I'm of age, I'm older. And I'm, listen, I'm just getting started. Dr. Joyce, <laughs> I, I, look, let me tell you what, she, I get tired when she be telling me about all the stuff she do. I feel like I need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm just getting started. I'm getting ready to do, I'm uh, building a, a studio in one of the rooms in, in the house uh, because I've always been thinking and now that I'm not over at the church and the stu all the rooms and you know we have all those rooms I don't want to have to go over there I want to be able to just get up in the middle of the night if I want to say something or do something go go down the hall and push a button 
That's what I want to do. Or if I want to write a song, I want the equipment in that in that studio that if I can write it, if I if I, because I I can write, I probably can write at least five songs in in a in a day. I can I can I know that I can get the 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 um the vamp um and basically the the basics part of the song um and I could do maybe I don't know how many of those so I want to be able to when I get these drops from the heaven I want to be able to just push a button and do it and put it down so I can send it somewhere so uh one of my kids or somebody can do something with it and, and doesn't the bible say write the vision and make it plain Mm. Yes, it is. <laughs> write it. Write the vision. That's what it says, right? Make it plain. It's a. It, you got to write it down, and and you know what? Uh, so it will be accomplished. First of all, you know, I say from the mind to the mouth to the movement. Mm. From the mind, it drops into your thinking, your psyche, your thoughts. And then you begin to speak it. And then the movement or to move in it. Uh, make it happen. M, move with it. Make make it happen. And, and then, and, and the visionaries, you know, uh, the Bible also says, speak those, th those things that be not as though they were. Mm -hmm. So if you keep saying it, that, and I got to tell a story that about Dr. Hatton. It's funny. Mm -hmm. This is before I even got my doctor's degree. Mm -hmm. Dr. Haddon started calling me Dr. Jack. You remember that doc? Yes. She started, I, this is a true story. And she started calling me, and I, we, I was at uh, Bishop Haddon's anniversary. I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. And I was way in the back. And Dr. Haddon said, my, my friend from North Carolina is here, Dr. Jackie. Where you at? And I looked at Jennifer. I said, who's she talking about? <laughs> And so you were already speaking it into existence. I, I didn't even have a clue as to if or how it was going to happen. But I ended up getting an honorary and then going back and getting an urn. You, wow. spoke, it, you spoke it up. You doubled up. <laughs> yeah, but, you, but, you, but you put it in the atmosphere. But do you know that it was in, in, the, in God's mind it was the will of God on earth as it is sealed in the heavens that you, that was what you would do. And what you're doing now is ordained of God. You are no accident. You are no mistake. God purposed that. And you were born even in your mother's womb as you were uh, birthed or created. You were created to do um, and that's why it's an awesome thing to be able to connect with this amazing group uh, that's doing investing, that's doing and taking you to places you've never been, encouraging you to do business, encouraging you to manifest those things that's in your heart, that those things that cause you uh, to, to sometimes not rest. You have to get with a group of people that's doing something because you're unrestful because you've cycled so long and 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 found yourself some people on this even on this this call this this line are miserable because they've been stuck i want you to become unstuck mm -hmm. i want you to do what you what's in your heart to do because who says that you have time who says that you're going to have another 10 years or five or three or months. Do what's in your heart. Satisfy the longing in your spirit because God put it there. You know, I remember the Lord saying to me, I'll give you, now it was scripture. I knew it was scripture. Delight yourself in him. He'll give you the designs of your heart. He says, if you'll delight yourself in me, Delight yourself in, 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 in the dream. Delight yourself in the, it, 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 delight yourself in what God has put in your heart. And he will give you the desires of your heart. I'm a witness. You're a witness. We're witnesses. And so, hey, 
my my mother, you know, I often tell you when I talk about mom, mom was 94 when she left here. She said, get with the get go. <laughs> <laughs> Old people always got their sayings. So mama said, I said too. She said, get with the get go. You better get up. Get up. Write it down and say it by March. This is what I've done. Or February. March. By the summer, some things that you maybe your your vision or your dream has something to do with the, the summer. Get ready before the summer. Mm -hmm. Don't wait until summer. You're gonna wait until it's warm and then say, nah, oh man, it's all now it's already warm. And the, the summer is it's so quick. And then, then it's gonna so be bad. hot. It's gonna, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna hot to do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna suggest that you live in the overflow. Go ahead. Let's live in the overflow. That the Lord has sent a word that he is about to bless you and that he's going to touch and that, get aligned with, with the mind of God and begin to move into that dream that he's given you. Manifest and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I believe that that life, that life flowing power will cause you to uh, dream again. In fact, I just hear this. I, I feel as though... Um, we're dealing with someone on 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 t tonight that has it looked like you you've been told that you wouldn't be able to do it. Mm. Um, most time when you said it to your sister, she's like, "Oh, you ain't, you not, oh, you you not be able to do uh -oh. it." Oh, I'm sorry. We're oh, still on. Yeah, you still. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I get to moving and moving my hands. They don't tell me what might happen. <laughs> I felt a power just now. <laughs> but you know, you're so right. I just felt a power. Ooh. It Was it something that I did? Was it something? What, what, what should we do? <laughs> but you know what? You're, you're oh, my so goodness. People told me. I messed with something. Can you, can't can, you, can, you can you bring me back? You're, you're there. You're here. I can't hear you. Oh, Lord. I don't know what you did. Does it mean it's our time is up? Uh-oh. <laughs> because I, I, I can't I, hear you. I can hear you. And it's not the mic. It's not uh, the mic. It is not the mic. It is not the mic. I don't know what that not did. The but, mic. but one thing she said is that for sure, there are people who are not going to believe in your dream. They're dream killers, and we can't hear you. N no, now can you get me now? Yes. You hear me now? Yes. But I don't hear you. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but but I see you, and you're saying you can hear me. Okay, so I'm going to do this. This is my last statement. I decree inside of that person that it seems as though this thing has dried up inside of you because of the negativity and the things that you've experienced, the hurt you had to hold you up and to hinder and block you. I'm going to speak now, life. I'm going to say that not me, but you will stir the gift and you will get up, rise up and begin to walk in a place that you have not and that your dream oh god i feel god in this your dream will come forth and you will move like never before it'll be like fire from the heavens and i decree and declare it so in jesus name amen amen thank you dr king i can't hear you so Hey, what, don't leave yet. Okay. So, so y'all heard it, and you know, this is Dr. Hatton is a true prophetess. Uh, she prophesied to me many times, and so you receive your blessing. Make sure that you go over to blackwomenpout.org. I want you to click on directory and join the directory if you want to get exposure for your business, your church, your ministry, your book, any of that. You need to be part of this. So we thank you. We're going to, I know we, we're going to end it, 
But thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, you see it's going across the screen and I have it uh, pinned to the screen, blackwomenproud.org. Uh, well, we've got to leave because we can't hear her. But thank you so much. God bless you. And we'll be back tomorrow uh, at uh, 11 o'clock. God bless you.